Hello, this is Armström and this is uh, Stettler. Yeah. And we're here uh, as the second with the second part of a vocal blog uh, series for Casa, the contemporary uh, a cappella society, not of America. And um, we, as always, we have some deep intellectual and intercultural problems that we want to talk about uh, with Ramstrom and Stettler. <laughs> So, um, one of the things we're really interested in is stereotypes, um, national stereotypes, uh, stereotypes about singers, and um, Ramström came up with an interesting theory. Yeah, um, uh, well, obviously, I've been following the, the, the a cappella business for many, many years now, and, and uh, I have seen that there's, um, there seems to be very specific kind of stereotypes uh, of uh, different kinds of singers uh, in all a cappella groups around the world, and, um, and you, can basically, you can basically pick any group in the world and, and, uh, and uh, look at the individual singers and put them in, in, a, in a typical stereotype that you can find in any other group. For example, uh, which kind of? Well, the, I'd say that the most obvious one, which, is, which actually is one that I found uh, many, many, many years ago, uh, is, the, is the typical engineer uh, singer, uh, who is usually uh, one of the male singers, uh, uh, and, and he's never the bass singer, uh, and he's always one of the tenors, mm -hmm. and um, and you can find an how engineer. You, yeah, how do you recognize him? Well, you, you recognize him on that he's not the best looking. Okay. And and uh, usually he's got a little bit of an you know unnatural way of moving on stage. Okay. That you, you you see that he's always he's trying a little bit too much. <laughs> Specific to a nationality too? Or is no, it, no, it goes it's cross country. It, it, it's cross country. You can, you, you can find it in almost any group. At all. And and the thing is that he, the way he moves on stage usually makes you uh, uh, in the audience feel a little bit uncomfortable. Awkward. But, yeah, awkward because pushing it a little bit too much. And very often they seem to be uh, a little bit too happy. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so there's the engineer. That's type one. Uh, those stereotype yeah. singers. So what's number two? Well, then you always have a bald one. <laughs> and usually the bald singer is the bass singer. I, I, yeah. I don't know how that you know connects. And which also means that then usually he's always tall and skinny. Uh -huh. uh, that's no. Okay. Sometimes, the, sometimes the bass singer is not bald, but most of the times mm -hmm. he is. And yeah. uh, yeah, I, you can just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. for example, yeah. Rayat on, you have yeah. Yussi, Yussi. Yussi. Uh, you, and one th weird thing with the bass singers, and or let's say with the bald singers, who are long, uh, they, when they sit, when you see them backstage, for example, uh, when you see them eating, they sit very, you know, like this, they always have, you know, very good. Uh, sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's weird shit. I, but yeah. that's. There is UC. Hello, UC. Sorry for that. But um, really, it's I mean, like you know what I'm talking about. My heart to the fiat. So do it. You don't talk about it today. Exactly. Can I say it? Yes, yes, yes. So can I say it? No, I didn't say it. Okay. So that's why I broke it. Say it. Just to trick me for it. Now we've been talking about male singers. Then when it comes to female singers, uh, there's, you can all usually divide them in the good looking and the not so good looking. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and the typical thing is that um, uh, the 
the good looking is not the better singer. Okay. Uh, it, this doesn't, well, this is how it just goes most of the time. You know, you have different reasons for taking people into mm -hmm. two groups. <laughs> So you have you, you have those two, and then sometimes, or let's say even if you just have two, but there's always this mother figure. Mm -hmm. and you have this uh, who's uh, kind of the mother taking care of mm -hmm. the band, also on stage, and you can see it on stage very clearly how they how they handle and manage the group, and you know, and and um, are they always the business managers too? No, no, they don't have to be the business managers. Oh, they just manage they are, the, they are, they are, the, the empathy part. Yeah, they manage the empathy part, and they are really, they feel like the mother in the group. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the weird thing is that uh, if they don't, uh, when it comes to the, to the stage outfits, if they don't have the same outfits all, mm -hmm. all, all the female singers, the mother one usually have, she's got the longer, you know. Uh, the costume, the costume, the costume. Okay. dress. Yeah. And if, if, it's, if it's not the a skirt, uh, uh, then then uh, if and they have pants, then they are always black and, and they have this pressed, you know. <laughs> what I found out is that most of the time, if the, if the if the group doesn't have a manager, mm. uh, they they manage themselves, and there's always one guy does the business, the yeah, business yeah. director. He, did, did you did you realize that most of the time this is the worst singer because he has no time to practice at all? Yes, yeah, that's, that's true. true. That's true. The case, and then they couldn't, they cannot fire him because he plays yeah. all the shows. Yeah, it's probably the, I, the world is probably full of a cappella managers who started off as singers and then just became really really yeah, that's, bad. Yeah, the, and bad managers. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it, man. Let's you have to <coughs> say. So you sing in a band too? Uh, yeah, I sing in a band too. But and, and with the stereotypes, I mean, now we've been talking specifically about men and women. And the thing is that you find these same stereotypes in in all female and all male groups. I mean, you can take the box sets, for example. They have all the same. You you can find all these but stereotypes. They have no bald headed. They, they, obviously, they don't have the bald headed, but everything else they do have. <laughs> Finland, and um, well, I have to admit, um, I have some difficulties to press them into that into your own theory. So, is that uh, is that coincidentally that you always, oh, you know, well, sometimes it, sometimes you have to break the rule to come up with uh, something something different. Know the rule and before you break it. Know the rule before you break it. And and um, well, the thing is that uh, most of the people who's uh, seen seen me on stage before. Uh, for example, you know that I used to have a long blonde hair and I didn't have glasses and, and now suddenly I got rid of the hair uh, and I have glasses, uh, really expensive ones also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, so it kind of ruins the whole yes. thing because now we suddenly have two bald guys. Yeah. <laughs> found two good looking and good singers. Okay, and they're both mother types or not? I, I wouldn't like to to connect thoughts of mothers to to our two female singers. I, it kind of it really doesn't match that well. I, I see them as something else than I can see the mother. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 
just again not know if we go more into detail uh, with this theory uh, throughout your continents and of course uh, we'd love to get your feedback on this uh, theory uh, from Helsinki to Freiburg we say thank you very much uh, see you soon and bye bye Casa thank you bye bye stop filming ah!